It's almost time for the Great American Eclipse on April 8th, 2024. And the line of totality stretches right through Niagara Falls, New York. Here on Explore Niagara, we're ready to teach you the best tips and tricks to have the best viewing experience here in our wonder of the world. April 8th is going to be a very busy day here in Niagara Falls, New York. Current traffic predictions are between one and three million guests coming here to view this once in a lifetime experience of a solar eclipse over our incredible waterfalls. On top of this, the prime viewing areas are on the American side in order to get the perfect angle of the southwest sun over the three waterfalls. Now, it is very important when you come here for the solar eclipse that you are patient, smart, and most importantly, safe. Those of you that watched our top five mistakes people make in Niagara Falls video might remember what we said about holiday weekends. You have to be prepared for long wait times at your favorite attractions, some heavy traffic, and also accepting the fact that you may not be able to get the view you want. And here with the April 8th solar eclipse, this is truer than ever. Unfortunately, the capacity at the park is restricted, and it is likely that you may not be able to get the perfect view at the waterfall. Luckily, the line of totality stretches all throughout the Buffalo Niagara region, and there are so many hidden gems that you can visit to get an incredible view of the eclipse. Areas like Oppenheim Park, Hyde Park in the city of Niagara Falls, or even all throughout the city of Buffalo will be available for you to view. If you are planning to come to Niagara Falls itself, you will want to come early, as early in the morning as possible, in order to secure the best seats for the view. In addition to this, the Maid of the Mist will be running the day of the eclipse, and the Cave of the Winds will be available as well. However, the Cave of the Winds will have special tickets available day of at the window. If you want to be one of the 100 to 200 people down there during this time, you'll want to be at that window early. In addition, you will want to make sure you are well stocked for the big day. You'll want to bring Eclipse viewing glasses to safely view the sun, as well as extra water bottles, small food like sandwiches and snacks, and any other necessities you may need. It is important to follow all safety instructions from local authorities, including those about vehicle and pedestrian traffic. It's a good idea to have a full tank of gas before making your visit, and to be prepared for detours if the main roads become too congested. Remember, there will be many people just as excited as you to see this once-in-a-lifetime experience, so remember to be courteous, patient, and smart. But don't worry, you won't be too upset if you can't get the absolute perfect view of the waterfall along with the solar eclipse. You're still going to have so much fun here in Niagara Falls the entire eclipse weekend as we celebrate this once in a lifetime occasion with a variety of special events. There's going to be a vendor and craft fair on Niagara Street, concerts throughout the city, and a full festival right on Old Falls Street. Now, of course, this place is a beautiful place to visit year round, not just the day of the eclipse. So if you're planning your trip to Niagara Falls, be sure to check out our website by using the link down in the description below. And of course, if you like learning about all these amazing things there are to see and do in Niagara Falls, take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on your hometown team telling you about this wonder of the world. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about preparing for the great American eclipse here at Niagara Falls. Have a great day, everyone.